Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. Today we shall do the construction of falling squares. This is given on page number 202, question number 2. So we are going to draw 3 squares. However, it is like falling squares. Let me show you how it is. We have a square here. And then this square is falling. So another square here. Again it is falling. Another square here. So this is what we need to construct and the measurement given is 4 cm, 4 cm and 4 cm which means that all of these squares they have the side lengths of 4 cm. Let's get started. First we will take a ruler and we mark the point at 0 and 4. Join these two points. Let's say this is A, B. We'll draw perpendicular at A and B. So first A, keep the protector like this. Mark a point at 90 degrees and again at B. Mark a point at 90 degrees. Okay. Now join these two points. Now here this side if you see we need to draw this full length. Okay. What I am going to do is I am going to join in such a way so that I get this length as well. I don't have to draw twice then. So now when I am joining it I will just see where 8 is. This is 8, okay. Keep the point here at 8. And then you join these two points. Now take a compass and measure this distance because this is 4 cm. This length is 4 cm centimeter. So, I am going to measure this length. Cut an arc here and cut an arc here. And if you see this measurement is also 4 centimeter. See here 4 centimeter because we took 8 centimeter in the beginning. So, now we are going to join these two points. C and let's say this is D. Erase of the extra lines. Only this side we are erasing. Only this side we are erasing because this length we need. Now this is already 4 centimeters, right? Now what we can do is we can extend this. This is 0 here and this is 4. So now we can just extend it till 8. It's 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 4 cm. Yes. See this is 4 cm. Take a protector and draw a perpendicular at this point. Join these two points. Again we are going to draw a longer one so that we can get this one as well. Okay. This measurement is 4 cm. Let's just check once. 4. So we'll cut an arc here. 4 cm. And from here we will cut one more arc for the square which is on top. So it is just fitting on this page. So now this is 4 cm here we have extended it so this is 4 cm you will take a protector again and you will keep it here like this and you will draw a perpendicular the same way we did here and here you will draw a perpendicular and cut an arc of 4 cm so let me draw the perpendicular 
and this is 4 cm already I took the measurement so this is cutting exactly at this point join these two points So now this is 4 cm G H I J. Okay. So the construction of falling squares is complete now. And each of these squares, the side length is 4 cm. Any length if you measure, it will be 4 cm because these are all squares. There is one more falling squares construction given with different measurements like you have a square of side 7 cm then you have a square of side 5 cm and then 3 cm so that construction we will be doing in the next video hope you find this video helpful thank you